Hey Curex and welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to go into a detailed video on how to slay your hairline. Now a few tips before we begin. Um, one, it's actually better to install your wig before you do your makeup so don't follow me. Um, I actually just don't put my foundation all the way to my hairline. I might just stop it here um, if I do my makeup before. However, it's best to install your wig first, then do your makeup. And next thing, if you're using glue or gel, you want to get rid of the residue before you reapply your wig because the buildup can get messy, not to mention it can prevent your wig from laying properly and also it can help with the shedding of the fine hairs at the front. So use hot water or alcohol to get rid of the residue from the gel or the glue before you reinstall your wig. Now if you order a lace frontal wig, it's either you're going to work with the flaps or you're just going to cut them off. You can either use the got to be glued gel or the got to be glued free spray or you can use them both. And today I'm going to show you how I use both of them for a temporary hold that can even be secure through a roller coaster ride. Trust me, I have tested it multiple times. Okay guys, you don't have to do this part, but I do it. I just put a little bit of the got to be glue gel right by the flaps for additional security. Just a little. And then I'll just spray a little. I'll just spray some of the free spray right there. And then, then all I do is just stretch it and seep it in. And I hold it there until it doesn't move. You can speed up the process by blow drying it, but I'm kind of lazy sometimes to do that. So I will just hold it until it doesn't move. Um, it doesn't take long to dry, so but if it's taking long to dry, you can just um, blow dry it. So um, it's not fully dry as yet, but what you want to ensure to do is to ensure that you kind of lay the hairs in the direction that you want before it dries because it's hard to move the hairs when it's dry so before it's completely dry just set the hairs exactly how you want them to go you can even go further and just put some of the excuse my nails some of the gel on top and just direct the hairs exactly how you want it to go and press it in. Now for most of my hairline, I just use a little bit of the gel with the edge brush and just make my baby hairs using my finger and the edge brush just to put it in the direction that I want it to go. And I don't like excessive baby hairs. I like my hairline natural. So I'll just use some of the gel and tap it along the lace. Don't let it go too much onto your skin like right here because it will leave a shine and then you have to try and get rid of that shine. But what is key is that the gel is going on your skin and not your hair so you need to bring it above the hairline bring it above the hairline so you can put the gel on your skin and not your hair i'll do a little swoop right here just so that it has that natural effect so i put a little break right here and then I'll swoop this side. And that's one side that's almost complete. You see that? 
and I'm really doing this to help you guys when you purchase your wigs so that you know how to lay your hairline okay so we're gonna do the same thing on this side we're gonna put some of the gel right below the flaps because we need additional security right by the flaps we don't want it lifting up on us on the road so we do that then we're just gonna use some of the free spray and you can use the free spray alone and do this but for additional security i like to add some of the gel but the free spray works just as good and now we're gonna pull it so that it's flat and just place it like that and hold it down mm -hmm. now as you can see um my hairs are looking a bit messy right here so what i was trying to explain on the other side try and direct the hairs where you want them to go while you're holding it down so that it dries in the correct position all right so let's hold that down push that down any little hairs that you want to push to the back just push push them to the back from now and just press that down let's get that out the way and hold that down i burn so let's get rid of some of that um i think that's good enough now if your wig is properly customized like a cure cosmo wig it should be this easy to install your lace frontal wigs with a temporary hold as you can see i'm just going along my hairline with the gel and the edge brush and literally that's all i do to lay the rest of my hairline yeah let's get into details with making the baby hairs you don't want to pull down too much hair and you don't want them too long either and when you brush them down just make a break and swoop it right like that I'm kind of a perfectionist so um, I'll go in and make sure that it's properly laid I always say that the frontal takes more maintenance and this is what I mean because for a lace closure it's just like temple to temple so you don't have the additional work of the flaps and stuff like that but it will be worth it and don't panic if it looks a little white um, it will dry clear just don't put a lot of gel and that will prevent that from happening for the center I will just kind of tap the gel by the edge of the lace and just push it back and make sure the edge of the lace is laying flat okay guys talk truth how are we looking with just or um, got to be gel it still needs to dry a bit but you get the picture if you do see a little sheen from the gel you can when it's dry though you can use your powder and just tap it out because there was a little sheen here but I got rid of it with the powder and ladies that's how I install my lace frontal wig using the got to be glued gel and the free spray it's a temporary hold but it can last like two or three days however I just remove it with water or alcohol by the end of the day because I like to sleep light so thanks for watching and remember to like comment share and subscribe